Alright, welcome back. Last time, we managed to defeat the Co-Prosperity Sphere. The entirety of it. Um, yeah, the mainland was basically defeated by myself, and then America continuously naval invaded areas. The one exception being Taiwan, which I got myself via paratroopers. And in multiple cases, I ended up uh, joining the front lines to provide far more manpower bulk and offensive capabilities. So yeah, the Code Prosperity Sphere is gone, and we basically split. Basically, I and the U.S. split it between ourselves. I got um, Aotoria. Well, okay, to be precise, the U.S. got Australia, Australia, and Nusantra, as well as most of the Pacific Islands for themselves. And I got everything else. Japan, Pariachia, Paratia, Indochina, Siam, and the Philippines. Oh, and Malaysia. Malaya. Malaya. Not Malaysia. Malaya. Oh, and Ceylon as well. Uh, Lanka. So now the task remains to fight off the Entente and the Reichsbach. It would be a lot easier to do the uh, Entente. Probably, because you would need to just capitulate France. So probably smart to get some territory into Morocco as well. My plan is to send the paratroopers over and have them do the job. So it shouldn't be too hard to... I just hope things go well enough so that it's not that big of a deal. I just need the airfield in Gibraltar specifically. And some transport planes, which I've got plenty, I just need to... How do you just spam it? There we go. Um... Can you build up airfields and foreign territory? Yes, you can. Right, I'm going to need those for my transport planes. Because I'm going to be doing multiple paradrops. It won't be too difficult. And you can also do radar stations and allies. Doing that as well. Excellent. Well, someone just nukes Strasbourg. <laughs> Alright, who's got nukes now? Probably. Yeah, let's set that as an endpoint. So, someone just nuked. <laughs> yeah, they went ahead and nuked Strasbourg. I don't know who did it, but it was probably on our side. Because I doubt Russia is currently in the position to do something like that. 
Yeah, that's... That was quite something. So I can't build it here now. It's kind of sad. Yeah, so. Got our own efforts over here, though it's taking its sweet time. The modern tanks have definitely helped push forward here, though I am having some issues lately. Surprisingly, my tanks are actually good enough to take anything without problems. Or just about anything without problems. So it's no big deal. At least so long as we remain on flat terrain, because I have definitely start to have trouble with hills. I hate river crossings. Forests aren't great either, and urban terrain tends to bring out the worst of them. <laughs> Went ahead and so before that though, did some paratrooper operations down here. I actually lost eight divisions down here. Because they did a naval invasion at the last second, which cut me off from supplies again. Which is why now I have paratroopers over here, just to ensure that doesn't happen again. Five paratroopers protecting ports in Morocco. But yeah, Morocco's down. All that's left is now France, which I'm probably going to take out here. Seems like the only option. Given that France doesn't actually directly own any of this stuff. Except for, well, directly core any of this stuff, except for Paris itself. Since Paris is occupied, well, that's 50 points down the drain. I have a few more points over here. I'd say altogether about 5 points worth additional. So 55 points. France is... Well, they control a little over half of their victory points. And they will capitulate when they have 23% ruins. Yeah. So there isn't that much we can do about it. Yeah. There's a lot of little victory points, though, from core states. But only the northern half of Algeria is considered a core state by France. Tunisia is, uh, is just colony states. Oh, and there's also Senegal. Senegal is also a core state of theirs. She has another 13 points. But yeah, there's lots of little victory points up here. Oran is 15, Algiers is 30. Yeah. Constantine is 10. The problem is that France has brought all of their troops here. Quite literally. Okay, maybe not all of them, but... A good third of them are sitting over here. The rest are probably supporting in other areas. For example, there's the fact that Central America just joined the Entente. Poor timing on your part, honestly. Central America is about to fall apart. Yeah. To the combined forces of Mexico and the USA. So yeah, they're just about gone. I don't see any French troops over there, though. I think most of France's troops are focused on garrisons. But it's come to a standstill because my paratroopers aren't exactly strong troops. They have to be small in order to allow for... Power dropping to become, well, not a complete hassle to do. 
so they're only 20 wits. Of course, they do have supporters of Lee and engineers and cavalry recon. Cavalry recon in order to help, but I can't pack that much soft attack, so they're stuck here for the moment until I can get actual troops over. Which are almost there. It's just such a long distance. Going from here to here, you have to go through Africa. Because the Suez Canal, yeah, partly demolished. And it has to be repaired. So Suez is completely out. At least now we control Gibraltar, so. Plus, yeah, there's so many things going on here. Attacking Switzerland is a pain as always, so we've managed to restore Italy's borders at least. But yeah, attacking Switzerland. Also been trying to push up here, but there's... I think about 20 divisions sitting here. <laughs> Which is... Horrible to try to attack into. Abundantly a bad idea. Then there's this fuck. That's so much defense. Oh, and something I didn't realize is that Afghanistan's actually a, a puppet of Russia. I'm not sure when that happened, but it did. So. I also went ahead and upgraded some airfields in Southern Spain because they've been filling them up. So yeah, now we've got rank 10 airfields <laughs> down here. Far more than we actually need, because why not? Why isn't our anti air too? Hmm. Not really much else to say. Um, there's this going on again. Yeah, Ukraine. The latest updates have made Ukraine especially strong. Which is why they could be my current focus for that. So I'm going to need to pick someone else soon enough. Oh well. At the very least, my home area isn't contested. I all oh, there is one last thing. I managed to take faction leadership. <laughs> Although the U.S. is approaching the level required to attain leadership as well, but yeah, I'm sure they'll get troop losses and whatnot. Or hit scraping the barrel. All <laughs> don't serve. They're also on total mobilization, which makes it a little less bad, but still. All don't serve. And there, that's resources good. So yeah, I now have faction leadership. <laughs> Which also means that I can actually complete this Imperialism Crush Forevermore once everything is completed. Vital to Chinese strategic industry. Yep. Quick 
Korea, Japan, the Philippines, the nations of Indochina, and the port of stock in Singapore. Yeah, I just need Afghanistan and to take down Russia. And then I can claim that imperialism is crushed forever. And we'll get those hefty moves. And then the final victory over Imperial. Hopefully that happens before the game end date. Exists, which probably does, but... I don't know, I've never reached it. <laughs> so... Now well, we'll just have to keep going until that occurs. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Until then.